Coming to you live from the heart of the Midwest, it's IPFW Today. The show that gives you the 411 on anything and everything that is IPFW. So let's get it started. Here are the stars of our show. They're Anthony Wilson and Sarah Lauer. Welcome to IPFW Today, the show that puts you in the know with everything you need to know at IPFW. On today's episode, I sit down with one of IPFW's longest tenure professors to get a historical perspective on the university. And Sarah gets inside the head of IPFW students with our segment, Mastodon Thoughts. We'll get started right after this quick break, a word from our sponsors. IPFW Today is brought to you in part by... Randy's Gator Farm, reminding you that all through the month of December, if you buy three, you get one free, only at Randy's Gator Farm. Yale University is one of the nation's foremost academic institutions. But what can IPFW boast that Yale cannot? George W. Bush never attended IPFW. Send your student to IPFW and tell Yale that they can keep George W. Bush. Paid for by comp students that want you to send your kid to IPFW so the university has a ton of cash and can buy more equipment for us. Or do some landscape work. Up to them. Sit up straight, is that what you think? Well, I got a question for you. When the f is that orange smoothie I ordered 20 f minutes ago, Randy? You are on. Huh? You are on. Hello, and welcome back to IPFW Today. My guest today is IPFW's longest tenure professor. Unfortunately, he's also a member of the Witness Protection Program. So joining us from an undisclosed location via satellite is, we'll call him Dr. Don. Hi, Dr. Don, how are you doing? Well, first let me say thanks for having me on the show, Anthony. I'm a big fan. So let me get this straight. The government thought the best way to hide your identity was to make you a professor at IPFW? Well, Anthony, the government gave me a couple of options. Either I could come to IPFW and teach, or host my own show on MSNBC. Well, nevertheless, you've been at IPFW for a long time. Can you give me a brief history of the university? Founded by the Italians in 1876, they named it AIPFW, which of course in Italian means from the loins of the creator. What about the Mastodon? Where did the school's mascot come from? Contrary to popular belief, the Mastodon is actually a fictional character created by world-famous cartoonist O.J. Simpson in the late 1920s. Of course, now O.J. Simpson is famous for other things, mainly his line of non-stick grills that, quote, knock out the fat. Dr. Don, do you know anything about the history of the university? I do not. But I did just save a ton of money on car insurance by switching to GEICO. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Are you even a licensed professor? I'm sad to say that I am not. But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> Dr. Don, I think that about wraps it up. We'll be right back with Mastodon Thoughts after this quick break, a word from our sponsors. IPFW Today is brought to you in part by Anibis Embalming Fluids, reminding you that when it comes to the embalmment of your loved ones, ask for the best, ask for Anibis. As this chart clearly illustrates, less than 50% of IPFW students have amnesia. Can those other state universities say the same? When it comes to your kids, can you risk it? And let's suppose they do have amnesia. Well, if they have amnesia, how will they remember what other diseases they have? And if they can't remember what other diseases they have, how do you know they won't infect your children? Send your student to IPFW and tell those other state universities that they can keep their amnesia. Paid for by comp students that want you to send your kid to IPFW so the university has a ton of cash and can buy more equipment for us. Or build new dorms. Up to them. Back again with IPFW Today. We are trying to find out what is on the minds of these young Mastodons. Tell me, Shannon, what's your very favorite part about going to IPFW? 
Sarah, that's probably the worst question you could ask me. I hate IPFW. <laughs> I don't sugarcoat it at all. There uh, isn't like any particular particular class or anything that you like. No, I pretty much don't like anything. Maybe your fellow students. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that on IPFW. <laughs> Good answer. Just what do you know about thermodynamics? Nothing. Uh, you know about thermodynamics. Tell me a little bit about it. I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> what do you know about the first law of thermodynamics? Uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> this is Brittany. Brittany, everyone in Fort Wayne wants to know, what is the most important thing in your life? I think it would have to be my hair. Anything else you want to add to that? And God. <laughs> what about the second law? Still nothing there. Can you cry underwater? No. <laughs> um, I was wondering if you would answer a question about IPFW and just Fort Wayne in general. Sí, que necesitas. Um, uh, okay, thank you. Um, well, what is your favorite part about Fort Wayne? Uh, el verano. Me encanta ir a los lagos, esquiar, uh, echarme en la arena, ir a tomar tragos. Es la mejor parte de Fort Wayne, definitivo. Uh, well, thank you so much for your help. And uh, that wraps things up for this episode. That was Mastodon Thoughts, and this is IPFW Today. Guests appearing on IPFW Today receive a three-month membership to the IPFW Geology Club. Season tickets to all home IPFW basketball games. And a brand new speedboat. Members of our studio audience receive a $10 gift certificate to the Porno Supermarket. Thank you for joining us on IPFW Today. For Sarah Lauer, I am Anthony Wilson, saying join us next week for another exciting episode of IPFW Today. The truth is, I don't stand a chance. It's something that you're born into. And I just don't...